Hi, my name is Jessica Vorsanger and I'm an artist and I'm here to talk to you about the superpower of looking. I like to work with textiles, fabric, textures, patterns, colors. I'm trained as a painter and I do a little bit of everything, but at the moment the thing I'm most excited about is working with fabric. And I'm going to talk to you today about the painting, The Ambassadors, by Holbein the Younger here at the National Gallery. Let's go take a look. Come with me. Being in front of this painting is really exciting, but it also makes me feel a little bit small because it's so much bigger than I am. And these figures are almost the same size as I am. And they're hung so that they're looking down at me. And that makes me think they must be very important. When I look around the room, I can see everything. But what I want to do is look. And this is all about the superpower of looking. When I explore this, what are all the things that I'm really looking at? So yes, there are two men, I can see that. We've got fur and we've got velvet and we've got satin and these are all really expensive fabrics. Here, this guy, he doesn't seem as important. He seems a little bit further back, a little bit in a darker space. When you first look, it doesn't look like his outfit is as lush. When I look at these fabrics, it's not just that I know what kinds of fabrics they are or that they're telling me that these people are very, very wealthy, but I can almost imagine what they feel like. So this pink fabric on the ambassador, that one is satin. And I know it's satin because satin is a really smooth fabric that reflects the light. And it has these gorgeous wrinkles where it's holding a little bit of shadow, which is the same color as the sleeve, but it's just got a little bit of a darker tone. So you just add a little bit of a darker color to it and you have your shadow. But then right above it, there's a much lighter bit. So it's again, the same color with a little bit of white. And then that gives us that high contrast that we need to make the shadow look like a fold. We already know it's divided by these two men and that maybe those things around them tell us a little bit about those two men. But this painting is also divided in three, but in a different way. One division here along the tabletop. So when I look closer at that globe on the top of that shelf, it's not a globe of the earth the way that one is down there. It's a globe of the stars. That tells me about science. Some of these other tools are about measuring time and space and the heavens. And then we have this middle section, earth. We have the globe. We have books. So they're scholars, but when we look closer, they're music books. Actually, they're hymns. You see the musical instrument, that lute? It has a broken string on it. And why do you think that is? So I'm looking at the bottom section and I see this gorgeous tiled pattern. It looks to me like marble. And then there's this big abstract thing. What is it? Is it a rug? Is it floating in space? What is it and why is it there? And this is why this painting is so cool. If you use your superpower of looking, you can see what it is. I'm going to go and look down here and this is a trick of the eye. So I heard that if you look at the painting from different angles, you might see what the object is more clearly. You can try and figure out which corner or area is best to look. For me, I think it's starting to look like a skull. So we've spent a little bit of time here talking about what I see in this painting, but I want to know what you've seen in this painting. You should take a little time and really use your superpower of looking and see what it is that your superpower of looking has made you see.